remotely installing the Xeon Platinum Long Relocation Kit. Xeon winches feature a convertible control pack that can be attached to the winch or remotely mounted, allowing for various winch mounting options and looks. This video will guide you in installing the control box remotely under the hood of this Nissan Xterra. We also recommend you read all product literature that came with the relocation kit before installing the product. To begin, you will need the Xeon Platinum Control Box Relocation Kit, worn part number 92193. Familiarize yourself with the relocation kit's components. 78 inch relocation wire assembly, clutch wire harness extension, relocation bracket, control pack cover, ground wire extension, plastic parts kit, hardware kit. Remove the control pack from the winch. Remove the top bus bar cover by unscrewing the fastener holding it in place. Remove the three motor terminal nuts that secure the bus bars to the motor. Retain all the hardware for future setup. Remove the four flathead torque screws located on the underside of the tie plate. Note, winch rope will need to be spooled out. Disconnect the ground cable on the underside of the winch. Make sure the small black wire that connects to the control pack is disconnected and hanging freely. Gently lift the control pack off of the tie plate and set aside to be further disassembled. Remove the motor terminal bus bar insulator after the control pack has been removed. Disassembling the control pack. Disassemble the control pack cover by removing the four flathead Torx drive screws. Gently lift the control pack cover off of the contactor plate assembly. Remove the power cable. Remove the nuts, washers, and screw securing the power wire, ground wire, bus bars, bus bar thermistor, and bus bar separator. Remove the power wire, all bus bars, bus bar separator, and thermistor from the contactor. Unscrew the flathead torque screws and lock nuts securing the contactor to the control pack plate. Unscrew the pan head Torx drive screw, securing the control module to the control pack plate. Remove contactor and control module from the control pack and set aside. Be sure to keep all hardware for reinstallation. Assembling the contactor and control module to the relocation bracket. Place the wire separator over the contactor terminals. Secure thermistor to thermistor bus bar with 6 by 35 by a quarter self-tapping screw. Insert hex bolt into thermistor bus bar. Place the thermistor bus bar onto the positive contactor terminal. Secure thermistor bus bar to contactor terminal with previously removed washer and nut. Connect red power cable and red power wire to the thermistor bus bar using saved hardware. Connect the label cables to corresponding terminal with fasteners previously removed. Attach M6 clip nuts to relocation bracket tabs. Insert the two tabs of control module to the relocation bracket slots.
mount contactor control module assembly to the relocation bracket. Attach new relocation control pack cover to bracket. Mounting the control pack. The bracket should be mounted on an easily accessible solid surface. The location should be as clean and dry as possible and provide sufficient clearance from all metal structures. Exact location will vary depending on the vehicle. To route the cable, choose a path that avoids sharp edges and surfaces that get hot or come near moving parts. Consider chassis flex and vibration which might damage the cable. Next, prepare the bracket mounting location. Use the relocation bracket as a template to drill the holes needed to mount the contactor bracket. Drill the holes to 6.5 millimeters diameter. Be sure to check the area before you drill to avoid hitting any electrical cables or gas lines. Use the supplied bolts and lock nuts to secure the control pack. Next, we will install the relocation cables then route the cable assembly and the ground extension wire from the control pack to the winch. Loosely secure in place using zip ties. Connect control pack cables to the winch motor. For our example, the winch and bumper are on the floor. In some cases, the winch and bumper may need to be mounted on vehicle for cables to reach. Attach the wire terminal housing to the motor terminals on the winch using terminal nuts previously removed. Install the cover plate and fasten with the two supplied machine screws. Connect your remote control clutch wire harness extension to the remote controlled wire harness and control pack. Use the supplied butt splice connector and the black extension wire to lengthen the contactor ground wire. Reconnect the ground cable and small black wire to winch motor ground. Ensure the ground wire is securely fastened. Final installation steps. Attach battery cables, red positive cable first, black Negative second. Install boots as appropriate to protect connections. With clutch engaged, power in winch rope while making sure drum is turning in the proper direction. Once you have confirmed winch rope is winding in the correct direction, continue to power in the rest of the rope. Follow instructions to properly stretch your rope. Installation is now complete.